Beverly Hills. It was around here that Max Sennett used to hold his Sunday morning wild boar hunts on horseback. Most of these homes were built and paid for during the great silent days of movies, before taxes were a fact of life, when people could afford to live like kings and queens. To your left, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lorna Love Estate, a 36-room mansion built at a cost of over $3 million for the beautiful and world-famous actress whose tragic death in 1935 saddened her millions of fans across the globe. The day after Lorna's funeral, a shrine was built directly behind the trees up there. Folks, use your imagination. Think of Lorna as beautiful as ever, as you remember her, her body embalmed up there in her shrine, lying up there forever. Excuse me. Huh? We'd like to get off here. Sorry, as company rules, no one's allowed to get off the bus. Insurance, you know. Well, my wife is pregnant. Congratulations, but that don't mean a thing to me. And I'm feeling a little sick. <laughs> oh, Joe, Joe, stop. I really don't feel well. Are you serious? No. Now, that's not fair. This is the first time for me. I've never been, I mean, you've never, we've never been pregnant. something with the studio. Sure you could have, Oscar, but that's not what we were interested in. We wanted to look at their faces and look at the dreams and see how much of Lorna Love is still alive. And believe me, she is alive and well. What do you say I drive you in and kiss you goodbye? I gotta get out of here. I got things to do. Hey, the wind's starting to blow. The radio said there'd be a storm tonight. understand you writers. You can write the same thing in a nice, clean, modern office in Beverly Hills as you can here. If you ask me, you're all nuts. There's supposed to be a housekeeper, a Clara Josephs. At least that's what the studio said. I'm glad they gave me a key. It been the wind. I don't know where it came from. Come you on. brought a wicket from New York. Hello, anybody home? Mrs. Josephs? Mrs. Josephs! That housekeeper should be here. I'd feel a lot better if she'd show up.
The door is locked. Mrs. Josephs? This is Mr. and Mrs. Gregory. How do you do? photographs of it. When I saw some preliminary sketches my father did. I thought I knew what to expect. But I never thought it would be like this. It was magnificent. Your father was a great artist, Joe. But you're right, there's really something special about that painting. Sure, it's the model. You yeah, the most beautiful model in the world. No, that's not it, Oscar. It's not all of it, anyway. It's something else. It's love. There was great love between you. like you, the same face, the father and the son. Did you know him? Were you working here when they were living together? Your rooms are upstairs to the left. I'll open the rest of the house for you. You know, the book you're going to write should be a love story about a great artist and the equally great actress that opened up the world to him. I mean, she worshipped him. And he worshipped her. The romance that the whole world talked about. Fantastic love story. Bigger than F. Scott Fitzgerald and Zelda. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. Bigger than life. All right, Oscar, you can stop selling. We've already signed your contracts. <laughs> Mrs. Joseph say right or left? I think she said left. It's locked. Fascinating. It's always fascinating me what's behind locked doors. Come on, you'll find out soon enough. Mrs. Joseph said she was going to open up the house. Thanks, Oscar. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a call at the office when we get all the research together. Research? What research? It's a love story. Boy meets girl, boy gets girl, boy loses girl. What more is there? Well, there's a little bit more, Oscar, because in this case, the girl's Lorna Love and the boy is Joel Gregory Sr., who just happens to be the father of one of the authors. I never really knew him, Oscar. I hardly ever saw him when I was a kid. By the time I was a man, he died. So you can understand there's a lot I want to find out about him. Besides, Oscar, you know the way we work. We're more journalists than we are novelists, so the research is everything. OK, 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 have it your way. You'll do the research, you'll write a great book, but it means nothing if nobody knows about it. So talking about publicity? What publicity? There's a shot the studio wants to use of the pair of you. Uh-oh, can I see it, sweetheart? They want to release it. They want to let the public know about the book. Let them start talking about who's going to play the part in the movie. It's good of you. Look, Joe. Now, that's really beautiful, isn't it? Say, so Oscar, where is the shrine to the goddess of love? Can't miss it. Any road you take on this place leads to the monument of that broad's ego. Joel, come here. There's somebody out here. 
Come on, come on. I just saw a lady all in white with a white chiffon scarf. She looked like something out of a 1930s Vogue magazine. She ran right down that walkway. That's toward the shrine. Yeah? Let's go take a look. You go. I gotta get off these hills before the rain hits. It could be treacherous. I'll see you later. Hey, come on, Oscar. It's not gonna rain. I don't wanna see the shrine. When you get a few pages written, give me a call. Not as beautiful as your father painted her, Joe. He gave her a soul. It's spooky. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. first director. Any chance he might still be alive? Yeah, we'll find out. He was one of the biggies, wasn't he? Yeah, he was up there with D.W. Griffith and DeMille. Now, there's uh, Denise Christian. What about her? Put her on the list. If she's alive, she'll probably have some juicy tales to tell about Lorna. And dying to tell them. ancestors. Nosferatu. Lorna was certainly a lady of singular taste. Malleus Maleficarium. Witch's hammer. Phew. Life beyond a grave. Well, I don't know what we're going to find out about you, Lorna. But I have a feeling you're not going to be my kind of lady.
that must have really spooked you. It's just someone at the front door. <laughs> Mrs. Joseph's will get it. What are we going to bet on, Mrs. Joseph's or our nerves? <laughs> Come on. Mrs. Joseph's. Studios hired you because they think you know the story, but you don't. You know nothing of honor love. That's why I'm here to tell you. I want the world to know the evil, ugly witch that Lorna Love really was. And not to see her again. Um, Mr. Carroll, could I take your coat? You must be soaking wet. I created her. I molded her out of clay and dirt. I made her what the world thought she was. Write that. Tell them that. And then tell the world what she did to me, how she repaid me. Lorna wasn't even a shadow on the screen till I took hold of her. I showed her how to walk, how to smile, how to use those hypnotic eyes. <laughs> they were beautiful eyes. But when she tried to look at a man with passion, they were empty. Because there wasn't anything inside her. I gave her everything. I made the gods in the heavens bow down to her. She believed all the lies they wrote about her. She was obsessed with that father eternal fire. Who's that? Uh, faith healer of some sort. Could that be the guy in the funeral film? That's when she turned on everyone. She ruined me. She destroyed me. She smashed me. The way Joel Gregory smashed all those mirrors of hers. Mr. Carroll, my father. He was the only one that had the strength to walk away from her while he was still a whole human being. You know what he told her? She had no soul except the one he gave her when he did that painting of her. Because she was empty inside, lifeless. Oh, there's more. Much more that nobody knows about Lorna. Things no one else would ever believe. Things no one but I knew. I can't tell you here. Mr. Carroll, it's awfully late. Why don't you stay the night and then we can talk some more in the morning? I wouldn't sleep from her house one night. I'd rather be dead. Mr. Carroll, it is raining pretty heavily outside. I think it would be the best way to stay. I'll call you tomorrow. The things you ought to know. Mr. Carroll, it really isn't safe to drive. You sure you don't want to spend the night? I'll call you tomorrow.
According to the doctor, it looks like a heart attack. Well, last night I saw him drive away. It's the last time I saw him. I didn't think he'd come back. It's funny. The last thing I would have thought he'd come back for would be to see the shrine. You see, that path leads to the shrine of Lona Love. That's the only reason he'd be on it. Excuse me. Ma'am, is there anything you might be able to tell me? I went to bed early. I didn't see him come, I didn't see him go. If there's anything else, uh, we'll be in touch. I'm frightened. You're all so pregnant. Yeah, you're chauvinist. I know the difference between fear and pregnancy. I need a sweater. These are all autographed pictures from friends of Miss Love's. To Beauty from the Beast, on the Cheney. If jealousy is a cardinal sin, I'd rather be in hell, Clara Bow. as much as they say? More. Much more. Tell me about them. There's too much I don't know. Too much I can only guess at. Well, guess for me. Tell me about them. This house will tell you the story. Should. Learn from the house. Stay here. What about the uh, doors that are locked across from our bedroom? Why can't I get in there? It was her room, hers and your father's. How can anybody talk about their love? It's something you feel, not talk about. They loved. Then... Go on. This was your father's studio. It's exactly as it was when he left it. Nothing's been changed. Nothing. money today. Why didn't Lona sell it after he left? For what? Money? She loved him. Did you like him, Mrs. Josephs? Did you like my father? I was the housekeeper here. I did my job. 
I liked people who were pleased with my work. Did he like you? Yes. At least he said he did. May I talk to you again? May I count on you to help? What's the matter? Look at this. You know what that is? No. That's an athane. It's a ritual knife used in witchcraft. See the pentagram? And that's the divine crystal, see? Well, yeah, whatever it is. It was used to cut this picture. I found it in the same bureau drawer. Well, where's the other half? I don't know. I looked all through the drawer. I couldn't find it. Oh, well, honey, don't get so upset. I mean, if it's the picture you're worried about, we can call the studio and get another copy. Joel, it's not the picture, and you know it. Now, come on, don't make fun of me. And you better not tell me I'm overreacting because I'm pregnant, either. All right, sweetheart. Take it easy. I know you're upset about Mr. Carroll, and... And look, maybe doing the book is getting to you. I don't... Yeah, it's not the book. It's this house. This house has been the scene of too many strong emotions, too many tragedies and too many secrets. It's like the way the scent of flowers stays in a room long after they're gone. You remember we wrote that. Only these flowers have been dead a long time and they don't smell so sweet. All right, honey. Okay, I mean... Maybe we started the book at the wrong time. Maybe we're here at the wrong time, but we're stuck with it. So let's do our thing, wrap it up, and finish it, all right? Now, what's on for today? <sighs> hey, come on. Uh, Denise Christian. Denise Christian. How were you able to find Lorna's only rival in Filmland? I called the Actors Guild. That was before I found myself cut out of the picture. Literally oh. speaking, I might add. Well, I guess that's the best place to call to find an actor. Where is she? This brand of coffee has been around a long time. It's pleased a lot of people because it knows how to please. Maybe that's why I like it so well, because we've got something in common. Why don't you drop by and share a pot with me sometime? Hmm? And cut. <laughs> that's nice, Denise. Nice. Beautiful. Right on the button. Okay, that's a print. Uh, let's get ready for the insert. Excuse me. Excuse me. Miss Christian. I'm Joel Gregory. This is my wife, Donna. How do you do? Miss Christian, we're writing a book about my father and about Lorna Love. Can we talk to you about that? You look like him. You've got the same kind of intensity. I bet they tell you that all the time, don't they, Joel Gregory? Yes, they have. <laughs> oh, why don't you run along and mix us a drink? I want to talk to these people about old times. It'll make me very sad. So, you want to know about Lorna Love? Yes, we'd like to know what you thought about. I hated the witch. Why? There were a lot of reasons to hate Lorna Love. The person didn't have to look too long or too far to find them. We started at the same studio together. I got all of her leftover parts. You know the one she didn't want? Then one of them made me almost as big a star as she was. That was reason enough to get me thrown off the payroll. She tried to blackball me with every studio, but she couldn't. She couldn't do to me what she did to poor Conan Carroll. God bless his soul. Then, there was your father. I met him first. I found him. I didn't know that. How? He was in the art department at the studio. He was good. I fell head over heels in love with him. I showed some of his paintings around to help him, and then Lorna got wind of him. I think at first she did it just to tear me apart. She went after him, and she got him. She opened a whole world for him, something I couldn't do. I was very happy for him. But the happier I was for him, the more I found myself hating her. There was something about um, a healer, some kind of a faith healer. Do you know anything about that? Father, eternal fire. 
He taught her all about hypnotic drugs, and she still couldn't get a night's sleep. She gave him a fortune because he promised her she would never grow old, that she would never lose her beauty. After your father smashed all the mirrors and left, she lived in a spiritual world, the world of Father Eternal Fire. Miss Christian, do you know why my father would have left Lorna? One morning, I guess he woke up and found out that he really wanted to live. This was impossible with Lorna. Why? Because she destroyed everything she touched. Uh, excuse me, Miss Christian. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, we need your hands in the insert. Well, can we talk again soon? How long will you be here? Where are you staying? Love House. Thank you very much, Miss Christian. I enjoyed talking to you. Bye. Thanks very much. Wait a minute. You look like a nice couple. Do yourselves a favor. Get out of Love House. There's nothing but death there. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. Come on, let's go up. Start without me, will you, sweetheart? <laughs> Give me a few minutes and I'll be right up. Okay? All right. shuddering and slow as a writhing serpent uncoiling a tomb.
Donna? Donna! I heard screaming. What's wrong? Got a key? There's a key. 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 There's a It's an old house, an old heater. You must learn to be careful. I couldn't close the gas. It's all over now. It's all over. I'll make her a nice cup of hot tea. She'll feel better then. Oh, thanks, Mr. Joseph. I don't know what I would have done without you. I would never have been able to get in there. I'll get that tea now. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, it's okay now, honey. Everything is under control. I couldn't open the door. All you had to do was turn the lock. I didn't lock it, Joel. I didn't lock the door. Maybe a delayed reaction or something. No, Joel. I didn't lock the door. I didn't lock it. I didn't lock it. I didn't lock it. I didn't lock it. Last night, when you went upstairs to take a shower, I fell asleep down here and I had a dream. And in the dream, I heard that music. I heard that before I heard you call. Well, there was Lorna, and there were mirrors, and there was that music, and that very same music. Now, people don't dream about music note for note. I mean, I just never heard about that before. Well, sweetheart, it could be the th same thing that happens to you when you go into a place and you feel like you've been there before. Yeah. No, it's yeah. nothing like that. I saw my father in a dream. I saw my father and I saw... I saw him with her. I saw the way it was with them both. Tell me about it, Joe. I can't. I mean, it just isn't words that fit it. But I know it. I can feel it. Joel, let's get out of this house. Oh, I don't want to leave the house. Look, Oscar was right. We can do our writing in town. I don't want to go to town to write. We need this place for research. I mean, my father's paintings are here. Lorna's old movies, her publicity books. And he's here. Donna, believe me, I know he's here. I can feel him. I can feel my father like I've never felt him before. I can't leave. Well, you can leave if you want to. I mean, there's no reason for both of us to stay, but I can't. No. No, we'll stay together. Are you hungry? Um, uh, no, I'm not. Okay, then we'll skip breakfast and we'll get going because we've got places to go and people to meet. Look what I found. Sella Geffenhardt, 
president of the Lona Love Fan Club. Right, I called her. She'll see us anytime we want. How about now? Huh? Now. Come on. Lorna gave me this house. Did you know that? Oh, she was wonderful to people. She just gave this house to me and didn't even ask for a penny. I have her picture still. I loved her. The whole wide world did. But they didn't know her like me. I knew how wonderful she really was. I can't wait to see the movie. Who's going to play Lorna's part? Do you get your pick? Well, we're just writing the book, Miss Gaffenhart. Other people decide that. There you are. Well, whatever you want to know, you just ask me. Because me and her were close. Very close. I was like a little sister to her. That's what she called me, little sister. Marcella, in the photograph, there's you and Lorna. Who's the man in the middle in the black robes? Oh, that's, um, that's Father Eternal Fire. He was a very spiritual man. He... He believed in certain things, like people should love one another. And, uh, the Athene. You know what that is? More or less. The one at Love House, Lorna's Athene, has a, has a pentagram on it. This one seems to be a little different. No, it isn't. Marcella, do you visit Lorna's shrine very often? I think we've had enough for today. Sweetheart, I've got a few more questions. Can we questions come back and see you another time? Oh, yeah, please come back. Another then we'll time. go now. Uh, you will come back, won't you? Because uh, I'd like to talk about Lorna. Nobody else seems to want to anymore. They, they forget, and I think it's awful. Well, I don't forget, and I never will. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you'll hurry back, won't you? Okay, sweetheart, you want to tell me why you did that? Did what? Well, you practically threw me out of the house. You uh, were beginning to lean on her a bit. You were getting a little heavy. Joel, she's the woman I saw outside the window the first day we were at Lorna's house. What woman? What do you mean? You remember I told you the woman in the white chiffon scarf? I saw her and then she ran down the walkway. Look, I'm sure it was her. Well, even if it was her, what difference does it make? Will you tell me that? Okay. Why was she running? What was she doing there? Look, why are you getting so upset? You saw the Athene and suddenly something has snapped inside Nothing of you. Nothing snapped, Joel! Look, there are things going on in that house that I don't understand. I think Marcella Geffenhaar can tell me about them. She doesn't have to tell you anything. And maybe, just maybe, you don't have a right to ask. It was Lorna's house. The way she loved her, maybe she has more of a right to be there than you do. You sound like you're choosing up sides. And you sound like you're a jealous woman. What's this one called? My Love Lies Sleeping. A silent film. The last thing Lorna did for Conan and Carol. Oh. The last thing Lorna ever did for Conan and Carol was to ruin him. She's really pretty good, isn't she? She's wonderful. She had magic. Hey, come on. All you've been doing all evening is watching her old movies. Don't you think it's enough? Now watch this. Go ahead. Just don't take a shower tonight.
I have a chance to meet Queen Lorna's new consort. Joe, I'd like you to meet Eric Herman, a director I want to. <laughs> you damn well, I may add. Go away, Eric. Before I tell everybody what a miserable lover you really were. The lady said to go away, Mr. Never let you go.
to come with me. What are you talking about? We've got work to do. You can't leave. Joel, please talk to me. At least talk to me. About what, honey? About last night. About this house. About you and me. Look, we haven't got time for that. I've, I've got to see footage on Lorna. I want to go over the scrapbooks again. Joel, we've got to stop long enough to talk about what's happening to us. Nothing is happening to us. Do you call last night nothing? Do you call finding you on her bed, out of your mind, calling her name, nothing? Joel. Something's happening that I don't understand. Something that you don't understand. She's evil. Stop it. And this house is rotten with her memory. Stop it. All you've done since we've been here is make fun of her, ridicule her. You've done nothing but dirty her memory from the beginning. You keep attacking her, I'm not her, attacking Donna. You are. You attack her. Joel, please come with me to town. We can finish the book there. We can work no. there. It has to be written here. Written here where it happened. But you're not writing it. You haven't put one word on paper since we've been here. You've gotten so wrapped up in Lorna's legend and a whole Hollywood pack of lies about her, you can't even recognize the truth. Oh, and you know the truth? In a few days' research, you know the truth about Lorna Love. I don't think so. Now, let me tell you something. Lorna was no two-dimensional figure of evil, no Lilith. She was... She was a very special lady. 
Now I know why my father was in love with her. He had the strength to walk away from her. And maybe that's the only mistake that he ever made in his life. Joel, can you hear yourself? Just listen to what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. Go away from this house, Donna. You don't belong here. She doesn't want you here. And I don't want you here. I was just a kid in the agency when Lorna was alive. Oh, she was something, all right. Everyone jumped when she walked in. A star. A star. Me? I never even liked her. I mean, she was a weirdo to begin with. They talked about orgies and all that up at her place. I don't know. I was never even invited. OK, Oscar, just go on, please. I don't really know that much, just what I heard. After Joel's father left her, she and this crazy nut in a black cape. It's Father Eternal Fire. Yeah, yeah, Father whoever he was. He suggested to Lorna some kind of uh, ceremony to bring Joel Sr. back. She paid him a fortune for it. It involved fire. Crazy. Well, they tried it. And something went wrong. And Lorna got badly burned. And she never left the house after that. But Oscar, Lorna's body doesn't have any burns on it, doesn't have any scars. In this town, you don't have to look far for skillful cosmetic people, plastic surgeons, anything you want. I'm a three-room apartment in New York. We're an unbalanced budget. I'm just a lady who wants her husband and her baby. With all the trips to the laundrette and the mortgages that go with it. Really. But Lorna's eternal. Lorna is eternal. Just like uh, champagne that never goes flat, or moonlight, or a waltz. How do I fight that, Oscar? Please help me get my husband back. OK. If you want him back, go get him. If you have to pull him out of there kicking and screaming, go get him.
Oh, come I on, I'm going to hurt you. Wrong. Marcella, I why are you not harm? I'm what are you doing in this here? Room. Why are you afraid of this room? Uh, why are you afraid of this room? And internal fires. Why did you run from me, Marcella? They wanted me to do something awful in here. Come down, please, Marcella. Marcella, please. Joseph's? Mrs. Joseph's?
I can understand some of it. After the fire and what happened to her face. Well, you said it, Oscar. She didn't want the world to know. She didn't want to be remembered as anything but beautiful. I guess it's a happy ending for Lorna after all. <laughs> All she wanted was to be adored, to be worshipped forever. Well, she'll have that now for sure. <laughs>